moth people, or moths, were added to the game. They are a species that has a pretty unique gimmick in the fact that they can't eat normal food. For example, if I had to try to pick up this pig in a blanket, try to eat it, you can't digest the pig in a blanket. That's probably one of the most immediate features. They also have some uh, pretty scrungly legs, I'll give them that. They run at a normal speed as every other species, so they are slower than arachnids. But arachnids are the only species that run faster than default, and of course everyone's faster than the Diana. So what do moths eat? Well, moths must consume cloth, and that can be in the form of eating a jumpsuit. It can be in the form of eating something like a scarf, or you could just eat cloth straight up, one bite at a time. As you can see, the count went down by one. That is how they eat. Drinking is the same. They could drink anything they want. Moths metabolize six chemicals at once, so they now join a few other species in that benefit and negative. It's not a straight benefit. However, only being able to eat cloth presents pretty large problems. You can't eat pills. They are the first species that cannot take pills as a form of medicine. So this will give some complexity for medical. Uh, a lot of medical has moved more towards using liquid syringes anyway, but pills have still made ob all the time. And this could present problems because if you're trying to self-medicate by going to KMC or a syndicate or something, you can't just grab a pill and leave. You have to get more advanced treatment if you're taking a lot of damage, and that could be a problem. You can't just grab a pill and go. So that is something to consider. Not being able to eat pills is a pretty big deal. Moths are also, in general, uh, worse at combat. They take either normal damage or more damage to everything except cold. They are better against cold. Moths breathe oxygen like every other species except the slime. So they will have easy access to the most common form of breathable tanks. Another very large benefit to moths is that they basically retain almost completely normal movement when there is no gravity. But the thing is though, you gain momentum. So with no gravity, moths are actually uh, much faster than anyone else. And this can be used in a very big benefit to yourself. I mean, this is faster than you can move with mag boots by a good bit, unless you have the advanced mag boots. And even still, the extra momentum really gives you a big edge when gravity goes out. And gravity does go out pretty often in this game, so that is something to definitely consider. Finally, some other things to mention are the sounds. I already showed the scream earlier. They're talking sounds. The talking sounds are just humans right now. They also have a chitter. So they do make some interesting sounds. I expect to get I expect them to get a uh, normal speech sound as well. They also don't have an accent, so they will be nor completely understandable. Uh they don't have an accent, so there won't be any words being replaced as of now. I'm not sure if they're going to get an accent. I guess only the person who put them in the game will know. But as of right now, that is just how it goes. Moths feature red blood, just like most of the species in the game. So that is also some important information to have. Other than that, though, they breathe at a normal rate as, like, a human, for example. They recover asphyxiation damage like a human. They take human-like barrel trauma damage. They don't have any uniqueness in that regard. The benefit, like I said earlier, is that they don't really take cold damage as much, so they can potentially survive spacings longer than another species, but they won't survive longer than an arachnid, because uh, they'll still take the blunt damage, but the cold damage will not affect them nearly as badly. They're also going to be slightly better at being tossed in a cryo chamber because of that, but that's a pretty minor benefit. I do not believe I am missing anything else unique about them. Uh, there will probably be changes to them, and I figured this would be easier than making an entire new species video, which I've done a few times now, and it gets a little cumbersome to be able to keep up with it forever. That's all I got for now. Thank you for watching.